Last week, Alden High School's theater department presented Disney's Beauty and the Beast. The original Broadway production ran for 13 years and was critically acclaimed, nominated for nine Tony Awards and winning one. The high school's production was highly anticipated, more so this year than ever before. It was advertised much more, what with a half-page article in the Buffalo News and a full brunch and activity event a week prior to the performance. This is the first high school musical that used a new online ticketing system, and the results were incredible. 1,950 people came to the four performances, and almost 1,500 of those tickets were pre-sold online. Usually for the musical, there was a turnout anywhere from 1,000 to 1,200. Audience members lauded the actors' performances, the quality of the music and the singing, the special effects, and even the comedy incorporated into the script. Many attendees were amazed with the final transformation scene, in which the cast and crew did an effective job of seamlessly switching the beast into a prince in a matter of seconds on stage. The meticulously detailed costumes also impressed the community. Many of the odd objects, such as the silverware, wardrobe, clock, teapot, or the complex human ones like Gaston's stuffed shirt, the Beast's features, or Belle's iconic yellow dress, all had to be rented. But the costume director, Mrs. Amy Froebel, dedicated two months to sewing and adding detail to so many other costumes. This year, there was a larger than normal amount of seniors who would be performing their last musical together. These seniors have performed together for the past seven years and have grown very close. This group of seniors is also the only group to work with Mr. Mashi for all seven of their years performing. The directors, who have seen these seniors for several years and have helped them grow in their abilities and character, are very proud of the good leadership and example-setting qualities of their students. Paige Zepka, a senior who played Belle, commented on her experience in her last show. I think this, this show was really good for my last show, um, personally, because my first show I ever did was Beauty and the Beast Jr., and I loved doing that, and I think it was kind of cool to come full circle and to go from being a silly girl to being Belle, which is just incredible and such an honor, and it was just amazing, and I, I loved the show. I think it was perfect. It had so many parts for everybody that has so much talent in the school, and I just really, I love the show, and it was perfect. I think we've definitely all uh, become stronger within uh, developing character and becoming leaders. I think that especially over the last couple years, uh, junior and senior year especially, um, we've all really stepped up to the plate and been leaders to our underclassmen peers and all grown closer together as friends and really been able to um, you know, come out of our comfort zone a little bit and be more developed in our characters. And in college, do you plan to get involved in theater at all? Definitely. Um, I'm planning on attending SUNY Fredonia, and they have a great music department and theater and dance and stuff like that, so I definitely want to perform. The Saturday night was, no doubt, very emotional for the seniors as well as the entire cast. However, the seniors will always remember this as one of their high points of their high school career. Although the casting made this production so unique, the theater department is very hopeful and optimistic about what future performances may look like because of the success of this musical and recent high school shows. From Wax News, I'm Carl Aldinger.